morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Angela. We are on day 19 of Art with Angela. Can you believe it? We have been drawing 19 days together. Now today I am wearing this silly outfit for a reason because we are going to draw a face. Now it's going to be a different art lesson than we've ever done before. So grab your pencil and piece of paper and I'm going to take this off just so you can hear me and see me a little better. There I am. Okay, I'm gonna put this right here. And like I said, today we're gonna to do something a little different and we haven't done this before. So we are going to use just pencils today, pencils and paper, and you are gonna learn how to draw a real face. Instead of drawing like a cartoon character like we've been doing little animals and all different things like that, we're gonna to try to learn how to do a real face, how you put the proportions, where everything goes on your face. So just grab pencils and there's a reason because I want you to have a pencil and an eraser so you can erase a line that I'm going to put on here. Now I'm still going to use marker so you can see it, but let's go ahead and get started. I'll believe this little guy right here. Now, what you're going to do today is you are going to draw a, a kind of an egg shape, just like we've always learned. Faces aren't really, really like a complete circle. They're like longer. So we're going to draw kind of a long shape like this. Now I'm gonna draw something on here called guidelines that you're gonna erase when we're all done with these. So that's, I'm using marker, I won't be able to erase them, but you will. But here is our guideline. We're gonna take that head and we're gonna put a line right down through the middle of it. And then we're gonna put a line right across the middle. This is gonna help us decide where the eyes and everything go on a face. Now when you're drawing an adult face, the eyes are gonna sit right on this line. If you're drawing a child's face, they're gonna be down just a little bit lower. That's a lot of forehead. It seems crazy leaving that much room, but that's really how your face really, really looks. So, on these lines, we are going to draw our football shapes. And we're going to draw one here, and then we're going to draw one, the other at the bottom of it there. Now we're going to kind of measure. We can even use our pencil, and we're going to say, oh, our eye is about that big. We can put our fingers right at the end, and then move it over. And so we know to start our next eye where that was. So we're going to make a line right there. So that gives you the proper distance between eyes. So you don't want them really close or really far apart. When you're doing a car cartoon, you can put them anywhere. But on a real face, we want them a little bit farther apart. I might even have them a little bit too far on this. Now, there is this line and your chin line. I want you to put a little line right halfway between those two things. And that's going to be where your nose goes. And instead of drawing a whole big nose out, we're just going to leave the line and then we'll draw a couple little, like a little C, like a little parentheses on each side, and it's going to give the illusion of a nose. Now, between this line and the chin line, I want you to go halfway between those again, and I want you to put a line there. That's where the mouth is going to be. Notice how the whole face is almost all down on the bottom of this? Now, with your eyes, you're going to come down about halfway down, not drawing. You're going to make a little line there, and halfway down, right about there. That's gonna be how big the mouth is, believe it or not. Now, I want you to draw the mouth just simple. You can go up and have the lips go up in the middle. Oh my goodness gracious, that mine is making kind of a funny face. But that's where your mouth would go. It's looking pretty good so far. Let's go back and do the eyes. Now, if you were to look in a mirror or look at somebody in the room with you, you're gonna notice the colored part of your eye, um, it's half of it, or quite a bit of it, is up underneath your eyelid. So we don't want to draw a complete circle there. You don't want your eye to look like this. You don't want to, because that looks like you're like, ah, I'm scared about something. So we're going to draw halfway. See how it kind of tucks if you, your eye, the color part would be underneath your eyelid. So let's do that over here too. And then let's draw the little pupil in there. It's going to look a little weird right now, but... And you know what, I'm going to put, just in case you decide to color it, we're going to put a little highlight in the eye so we know to leave that white. We've done that every day or quite a few days. We've left a, left a highlight in there. Now, eyebrows just go up a little bit, a little tiny bit. Make sure they're not right on top of the eye. And they go right over the eye. So we've got a face. And it look, it's looking pretty good. Now let's get the ears. This is where we can, you don't realize how big your ears are. If you were to feel your ears, and you were to take your finger and move it right over, they're right at the top of your eye, and then when you feel the bottom of your ear, it's at your mouth. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to start here at the eye line and come right down to the mouth line. Try not to make them really big. We don't need bozo here. And then another one right there. So that's kind of where the ears are. And they're really much longer than you think they are, but that's how they really are. All right. Let's do a neck. Now let's pretend I won't put, well, I we can put the marker down. I'm going to put it down and then I'm going to gently do this. And I'm going to make a little curve. So I'm going to come down and do that. And look at, we got a perfect neck. Your neck is a lot bigger. Sometimes people draw these little tiny necks, little skinny necks, but your neck really comes down. If you feel your face, you can feel your neck goes right almost to the edges of your, of your jaw. You can feel your face, you can look in the mirror. This is a nice way to learn how to draw. All right, we have got our head on here, all the basics. Now you can add a little hair on here. Now you don't have to color really crazy, like you can just do it with little pencil strokes. So you can do this, and I'm just gonna give this person kind of a, a short hairdo. And see, I'm gonna put a little bit down in front of the ears, because that always looks better, there's a little hair. And then I'm gonna do a little bit over my line too, because my hair doesn't have to stay right inside of that line. And maybe I'll even have a couple stray little pieces. And then I'll put some down here. Now, if you have long hair, you want to draw long hair, that is very simple too. Just bring it down a little bit. You might even want to show your ears and you could do it just like this. And it could be kind of scribbly looking. But right there, that is how you paint a real face or how you draw a real face. So, Pick up your pencils and your erasers. Now, when you get to the eraser part, what I want you to get rid of, that's why you're using a pencil, is to get rid of this big line down the middle and this line across here. Erase all those out and then you can color it. Now, what I want you to do, I'm gonna challenge you to, to practice like this first and see if you can get all everything where it belongs on a head. And then I want you to sit in front of a mirror and I want you to draw a picture of you. And that would be called a self-portrait. So I want you to, Take pictures and send them to me. Let me see what your self-portrait looks like. And I am going to sign off for today. And I'm gonna say bye-bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Listen to your parents, wash your hands, stay safe, and be creative, everybody. Bye-bye.